everyone, today I'm sharing my fireplace makeover. So if you have been following my channel for a while, the backstory with this is that in our home, in this room, we had the wall behind me. There was nothing on that wall apart from a radiator and I really hated it. It was the focus point sort of of the room and um, I didn't like it. At all and I really wanted a proper fireplace and a focal point. Um, so last year we had the radiator removed and I bought a fireplace and I have shared a video about how I um, painted it and replaced the, well I kind of zhuzhed up the hearth and, and put um, some oak trimming around the side and things like that and really so this was back at the back end of last year so it was probably around about November time and I really wanted the fireplace in and ready for Christmas and I, and I decorated it for Christmas and I enjoyed having the fireplace there to decorate over the Christmas period it was lovely but as, almost as soon as I put the fireplace in um, and it was never fixed it was never fixed to the wall I just knew that it wasn't right. I knew that proportions weren't right, so it was too short and it didn't look right to me. So it had like semicircular type mouldings around the opening. I didn't like those. I felt that the opening was actually too small for the for the for the actual stove. Um, and I wanted to make a, a really big change. I also didn't really like the hearth. I wanted the hearth to be the same level as the rest of the floor. So I made the decision that I was going to make over the fireplace and I knew that this was going to be something that I could do quite cheaply. I felt that I could do it without having to remake the fireplace itself, the actual mantle, but I knew that there was a bit of work in it and a little bit of disruption in the sitting room so that I could sort of bring my vision to life. So one of the first things that I did was take away the fireplace and work on the hearth. Now I chose some limestone slabs that I wanted to use for the hearth and I set them, I went very very simply with a small amount of cement. So basically the hearth stones were going onto a cement floor anyway um, and I didn't want them fixed so that I would never ever ever be able to remove them perhaps if I changed my mind or if we decided to change the flooring in here so one day I would actually really like to put in a wooden floor in this room so I sort of had that in mind so I worked out the size of the hearth that I wanted um, and I fixed the um, slabs like I said and then I worked on the trim and I put in an oak trim around the edge and as I said I wanted to make it flush with the rest of the floor and in this at the moment we've got carpet and I wanted to make it all the same level. So to finish it off I then grouted it and I also put on a couple of coats of a protective stone sealant as well which was supposed to bring up the colour. I can't say that it did a huge amount but um, still it is sealed so if I dropped any water on there or anything or it became dirty it's quite easy to clean it off. So the next step was to work on the fireplace itself and I took it out to the workshop and my workshop is really my happy place and I took the fireplace apart so I took the hearth off first and I also took the back off and then I worked on sort of like the two pillars so the structure of the fireplace and I made two sort of little plinth boxes if you like that were going to raise the fireplace up and I so I made those boxes and I secured them using my Craig jig so um, I put in pocket hole screws so that I could connect everything together. I also put in some new trim so I took off the old semicircular trim and I added some straight trim around the edge because I just thought it would look better. I thought the style would look better. I had thought previously about adding a new top to the fireplace, but I decided not to do that because I already had quite a lot of 
height from adding the plinth, so I didn't do that. I guess it's something I could do in the future if I wanted to, but at the moment I think the proportions are right and they're better. So I went ahead and painted the fireplace, there's a little bit of caulking and filling to do, and then I just went through and painted it white, which is the same colour as the white that I use all over my house and skirting boards and the doors and things like that. And actually that's a, a good tip that if you are painting woodwork then and you're using a white paint, then use the same one throughout your house. It's so much easier if you want to go back and just do a little bit of touching up. If you always use the same paint, then it's so much easier and quicker to make those little improvements. So it was exciting the day that I brought the fireplace back in to see how it would work and I was instantly happier with the size of the fireplace now that I'd made it bigger and I wanted to put something on the back of the fireplace, the one what is what was the wall. Um, had a bit of a think about this because to be honest one day I would really like to have a real wood stove in here. I have got my fire, my electric fire, but I, I think having a wood stove is something that I've always, always wanted. So what I decided to do with the back, rather than tile it, because that was my thought to begin with, that I would use some sort of tiles on the back, obviously there's a bit of work involved in that as well. What I decided to do was use a brick panel. So I looked into brick slips, but then decided on a brick panel, and it's made of polystyrene and it's made to look like bricks. So I just went through, I cut it the right size and at the moment it's actually only fixed with duct tape. The reason for that is that like I said one day I might like to change the whole thing and I didn't want to tile a wall and have that kind of permanency so actually for now this works for me. I am thinking about painting the brick um, so that it's got a kind of like more of a lime wash look to it, but we'll see. I'm really happy with how the fireplace looks now. I am much happier with the proportions. So obviously in this room, I've also got the, the built-in desk and bookcases, which is a really large piece of furniture. And I think now it proportionately in the room, particularly because I've got the large TV on the wall, I think it looks better, it works better in the space. I also like that I've got more room or more space for the actual stove and that I, what I decided to do was buy a stove pipe to put into position and I like that, it kind of makes it look a little bit more um, realistic. So I'm really happy and excited about the potential of how I can decorate the fireplace this Christmas now that I've got the fireplace in. I'm a lot happier with it and I guess part of this video was that I wanted to encourage and inspire you if there are things in your home that you want to change. So up until probably about, I don't know, maybe four or five years ago, I would never have probably attempted something like this. I didn't really have many power tools or anything and now I am I'm just so happy that I have a go at being able to do these things myself. I've got like a little wood store so I'm always using up scrap bits of wood, things don't cost me very much and I make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time but actually it's fine and, I, and it's part of learning and I just enjoy that process of working with wood, getting out in the workshop, creating something and then looking back at, at what I've made and I hope that that might inspire you too just to have a go. If you're new to my channel then please remember to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!